Lord Airy's battery in the Upper Rock is an iconic symbol of Gibraltar's deep military ties. But battered by salty wind and rain for decades, it had fallen into considerable disrepair. <laughs> military historian Peter Jackson, also with the Heritage Trust, took up the arduous task of restoration works a couple of years ago, but received some welcome help recently in the form of ex-servicemen. Well, uh, since the library got here, we've, they've only started this morning and the the progress is absolutely mad. We've already got the spare barrel scraped down and undercoated. Uh, second coat of undercoat nearly finished. The white walls on the exterior, got the first coat on, looking good. We've got the barrel almost ready for its uh, first coat of grey. And uh, we're now descaling on the, the blast shield. So just so many hands. It's, it's really uh, encouraging for me to see it all happening. The project was organised by Elabore, a UK charity which supports homeless veterans who've fallen on hard times, many of whom have strong emotional ties to the rock. The Ministry for Heritage provided them with financial and logistic support, allowing the veterans to help restore not just a military asset, but also their sense of self-worth. And I was in the forces, I was in the Royal Artillery. A number of incidents happened that, uh, if you like, put me in a situation that uh, I found myself uh, sort of living in a caravan, you know, in the middle of a field. <laughs> I um, developed almost like a claustrophobia, you know. I needed, I needed something, you know. A lot of it, friendship as much as anything. I now have a house of my own, you know. It's good, it's comfortable, it's well equipped. Uh, and I've got constant contact with people. This is the thing. While Lord Airy's battery was being lovingly restored, the Race to the Sun team of 12 cyclists was seen off from the convent by Governor Sir David Steele before embarking on their epic 500-kilometre cycle across the stunning Andalusian mountains. It was no easy feat, but with Major Ken Hames, a former SAS veteran in the pack, you know you're in good hands. Raising money for homeless veterans was all the incentive they needed to climb over 700 metres above sea level to Ronda. Tired and aching badly, they returned to Gibraltar to a hero's welcome. And after reuniting with Lord Airy's restoration team, they all enjoyed some much needed downtime. Elaborate CEO Andrew Lord says he hopes to return to Gibraltar again. The charity supports over 100 vulnerable veterans every night through 21 homes in England and Wales. It's events like these, supported by sponsors and volunteers, that helps keep them going.